welcome in, to, in Berlin. Once more, once more, thank you. <laughs> How do you like being here? Well, well, the sad fact is that uh, we arrived here really late last night and, uh, and we're going back really early tomorrow morning, so we don't have any time to hang around in Berlin. But, but hopefully when we're coming back on the tour, we're playing some gigs, we're going to have some time to hang around. Why did you choose this place? Do you... I'm always here. I love the food and I like the vibe and the, all the people who are working here are great. When you come to Berlin, you... I'm usually always here. So what do you do when you're here? Like partying? Well, well, in this bar? Well, usually we've always been coming here for a dinner because I really love the food. And then, uh, then uh, yeah, and they get great booze as well. So um, it's a good place to get totally fucked up. We are now listening to your uh, new album. It's a compilation of everything that we've done before. <laughs> the best of? Yeah, it's the best of. There's like 14, 14 singles what, that uh, have been released early on and then two new tracks. And yeah, this was the time because we can't fit more than 16 tracks on an album. Well, I like the, uh, the the latest one most called uh, "And Love Said No" because that's just a, that's just, uh, for us it's some, something new and fresh. So that's that's my favorite at the moment, at least. We are here, or you are here with Jägermeister and Mina Kohlis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why do you work so close with Jägermeister? Well, you know, it's, it's, a, it's always been a rock and roll drink, at least in Scandinavia. All the bands always drink Jägermeister, <laughs> and we've always had it on our tour right at, at the backstage. <laughs> and uh, then we heard about the possibility of doing something together, and uh, that, uh, that, that we could have a competition for uh, young bands to come and support us on the tour. And, uh, you know, it's cool stuff. We get Jägermeister, loads of Jägermeister for free. That was the basic reason. Except from Jägermeister or Alkaline, what do you think about taking the grass? Well, let's say that, that uh, I know f few people who can do that, but our band, we're totally into drinking more. You know, I can't smoke pot, I can't do cocaine, I can't do ecstasy or anything like that. I've tried them all, but uh, they don't suit me at all. No drugs. No drugs in this band. Tour? You're coming to Berlin as well? Yeah. When you're on tour, what, what do you do to, to keep... Just to, to... We're sleeping as much as possible. We never do any jogging. You know, it's pretty good uh, pretty good uh, exercising just to be on the stage for about an hour and a half every night. Yeah, loads of adrenaline and, and loads of sweating, so that keeps us in shape. How do you relax? Um, well, with that sleeping and, and if we have an off day, you know, just like... Maybe watching movies at the uh, hotel room or reading a book or having a long bath. It's a very simple things. You don't meet the fans after the show? Normally no, because you know it's such a hassle and uh, it takes, you know, when we come to a city, we do the sound check, we do plenty of interviews, we do the gig and after usually a gig we're totally exhausted and tired. And that's not the time, you know, we, at our backstage, you know, we just allow the band to be there, you know, we just want to relax because, like on this German tour, for example, we're playing 11 gigs back to back, so 11 dates in a row in different cities, which is a lot. So uh, there's no time to hang around so much. You work together Well, you know, it's hard to say. Basically, we formed the first version of the band back in 91. So in that sense, it's like we've been together 13 years. But uh, officially, we got together actually 94, which means that this is our 10th anniversary year. But uh, that's a long time. Did you hear about this casting shows on television where people... Like pop, pop stars and whatever they're called. Yeah, well... Well, I don't like the music, but, uh, but it's pretty funny. I don't watch telly that much, you know, just because I think that shows like that suck. But uh, it's not, it's funny, but but uh, I think that it takes the magic away from music. But it's a great way for record companies and television stations to sell a product. It's a great way. It's great business, but it's it has nothing to do with art or rock and roll or uh, music being a way of life. <coughs> Did you hear about the German casting shows? Oh, well, some of them. 
Daniel Cuba book was in, in one of them, and, and uh, yeah, I've heard bits and pieces, yeah, yeah. Could those people be big stars? Well, of course they could, you know, there's like, there's not a, why not, why not? You know, it's just depending, because those people don't write their own songs, and, uh, and uh, this is very hard for them in a way that they need really good songwriters behind their backs and really good machinery behind their backs to sustain the uh, success, but uh, why not, but they're not going to be big stars for me, because they haven't written their own songs, they haven't decided what to wear, they haven't been on tour, in shitty tour buses, smelling bad, which is very essential to what we do, for example. You once told us, uh, I think it is two years ago, mm -hmm. if you want to be a legend, you have to die at the age of 27. Well, well, Jesus Christ was over 30 when he died, so I don't think that would be a necessity. It was just a joke because, like, Janice, Jimmy, uh, Jim Morrison, loads of people died at that age. Loads of people who are legends now. But um, I'm 27 now, so I'm hoping that, that, that I still have a bit more time.